In this video, we're going to learn how to create a WIM file, which stands for Windows Imaging Format. And that is basically the capturing of the image that is your Windows Reference PC. All right, we have our prepped reference PCs. Now we need to create something called a WIM, W-I-M file, uh, which is used coupled with the answer files to create our actual image. You'll need to verify that your Windows Server environment is actually running because you'll be communicating with that in this next process. And WDS uh, is the first time we'll actually engage WDS as part of the process. To start with, we're going to have you modify a couple of your boot settings. So uh, click on your reference PC, click on settings, go down to system and motherboard. You'll notice your different boot orders here. We're going to remove the hard drive from the equation and check network only. Let's move network to the top of the list. And we're going to uncheck enable EFI. Uh, there's a bug in VirtualBox where if you leave that checked, it will ignore the boot order. And we don't need that checked for this exercise because we're not booting to the hard drive. We're actually going to boot to the network. I'll show you what I mean as we move along here. Now I want you to take a look at your network, enable the network adapter, and you're going to want to make sure under advanced that this is set to your Intel Pro desktop. We've had problems where if it was on one of these PC nets, especially uh, where the boot to network failed completely. And that's it in here. Go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to boot up this prepped PC and it's important that you watch for the F12 command so that it boots to the network. At this point, we're going to be engaging WDS. You can ignore the virtual box. So here we go. Right here, it's looking at the network. It sees the F12 option. We're going to press F12. This is direct communication with Windows Deployment Service. Now, I didn't get to it in time, so it says fatal could not read from the boot medium. I've got to do this again and make sure I'm not talking and actually get the F12 key. <laughs> so I'm going to close that. And take two. All right, watching for F12. Connected. And that's what you should see. This is information being downloaded from the server, Windows Server, to this environment as part of the process. All right, so this is a direct communication once again from WDS. I want you to hold on your Shift key and press F10 at the same time. That's going to get you to a DOS prompt. Okay, so if you don't already know it, you're going to need to know the IP address of your server. I'm going to pull the server up front. In my case, so you can see how this works, I'll go to a command prompt, type in IP config, and I can see my server's IP address is uh, 89.149 and so on, okay? Armed with that information, I'm gonna type the following command. There is a space after the S colon. Uh, you can use whatever letter you want there. I got S for server, you can, can, can be anything. Couple of uh, backslashes, your IP address, Another backslash, uh, reminst is a um, map, it's a network share that's already been created for you by Windows Server, where the, it maps to the remote install directory, then a slash user colon, a, an administrator on the server, it doesn't have to be administrator, but any user that has administrator rights, and then the password associated with your server's administrator or administrator uh, user. And then when you're done with that, Go ahead and click OK, or hit Enter, rather, and you'll get uh, the command completed successfully. Now, it says completed successfully, so now you have an S drive mapped to that remote install. And you'll see all of these files are familiar. There's the answer file that we created in an earlier video. Okay, and then we're going to have you type in the following command. Now, image file is the name of the WIM file you want it to be that would be representative of the image you are capturing. In my case, it's a home image. 
Our company is called Compumata, so I uh, call it WinMatter as a branding uh, type thing. You can call it anything you want to. Capture directory is what directory on this prepped computer do we want to capture? We want to capture the entire C drive. I'm not sure when that would differ from that. And then a friendly name for the, uh, the directory that you're capturing. Okay, so that gives us everything we need. When you're done, just hit enter. And it'll start the process of creating an image based on your previously prepped PC. So even though we booted from our prepped PC, uh, we used the network, and that way our storage was available to capture without actually going into Windows and loading drivers as we would otherwise do. Now, my experience has been there's going to be a two-minute delay before you see anything here. We'll, of course, speed that up for you. And the process of creating the image is about 20 minutes. Okay, we've got 100%. The operation completed successfully. Now, we've already done our home and pro. We did the pro without you looking. But you'll notice if we t do a directory of the S drive, we now have our WIM files inserted there. They weren't there before we started this. So that's the end result of this process. We don't want to do anything else here except for closing that virtual machine. We do not need to sh send a shutdown uh, indicator. In fact, I think it will ignore it, so just power it off. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.